All right. Perfect. So we're going to section this off first. All right. This is where we, this, it's easy to do this, uh, to, to remove the bolt, but this is where I got to be careful. So I'm going to actually do it this way, because this is where we don't want to go too short. Right here, right? On the back. I'm gonna take a V section here. So I'm just gonna take this part out. All right, so I'm gonna take this out. And pin this. So you did that so you won't. So I want to keep this long, okay. yeah. You know something? We're going to do most, I want to do most of this with the clipper, bulk removal. I can do it with scissors, but you know what? I'm going to use clippers this time. So as usually, I'm going to start my guide right from here. Okay? I'm going to use uh, on my old school clippers. And start right here. Now we are doing a skin fade. He wants to keep most of the, he wants to keep uh, most of the top. He wants, he wants just one inch. So I'm gonna start right from here. Now, starting from here, right? I'm gonna go right to here, okay? I'm gonna, so, let's. This is the widest point of his head. So I don't wanna cut it high, because I need to have Linked here, yeah. so we're gonna keep this low right here. Right. Now, you have to keep in mind you cannot mimic every haircut 100% that you see a different head shape, different hair texture, but you can give him similar haircut. Uh, and tailor the haircut to suit him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I used to get people like with a really curly hair, you know, dark curly hair, coming and giving me a picture of a, a like a, a flat top on a straight hair, like blonde. You gotta, a client has to also be realistic what's possible for him. So this is just a bulk removal. That's all I want. Remove the bulk. Right there. As you see, my old school clippers here, even though we are cutting our wet hair and a lot of it, I don't have a problem going through the hair with them. Okay. And pro. Okay, so now that we removed the, I removed the bulk, right? And I created the foundation, the guide for my fade, okay? My fade has to stay in this area under this. So what I'm gonna do for now, look down for me, put your chin down. I'm gonna open my blade. And I'm gonna remove all of this here and create a foundation for my fade. See that? Yeah. 
I'll go straight. I go straight to the line that I created. That's fine. As you can see, my M Pro machine is doing a good job with removing the bulk and creating that foundation for me. Is it chin down for me, buddy? Perfect. You lost your brush too? No, no, it was right there. <laughs> So we remove the bulk fully and we frame our haircuts. Look down, buddy. Right there. So now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do our fade. Sit up straight for me, though. Perfect. And just put your chin down. Perfect. So now, we're gonna use our T-Pro. Right, right here. And we're gonna start our fade. We have to keep our fade low because of the shape of the head. The shape of the head determines whether we can have a high fade, medium fade, or low fade together with the style that we are doing. So if you are doing a style such as this where you have uh, a long hair on the top, right? You can't do a high fade. It will not look good. You, we don't have much right, space yeah. here to fade, right? So we have to keep our fade low. These edges are actually extremely good. Um, the only thing with all, not just these edges, but all of the edges today, though, and clippers that we have, we find problems. 
these factories make these edges, and this is a perfect example, watch this. You see that? Mm -hmm. It's tagging skin, you see that? Oh yeah, right. See that? Yep. That's not because the clippers, the edges are not sharp. All these companies these days make these edges, the blades are so fine that any like irregularities on the skin, like a bump or something like that, it catches it, it tags mm -hmm. it. And this is a common thing we now with all the edges because they want these edges to cut. Look how close these things cut right, right out of the look. They are right out of the the box. I didn't seal gap them or anything, but they cut so close now. Yes. What is? Yeah. Uh, maybe on Monday. You yeah. have my number? Uh, I guess I have it. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Uh, call me on Monday. Monday, okay. Or Sunday, whatever works for you. So now we have, I started from half. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Thank Take care. You. Zero and half. Now I'm gonna just fade this line between zero and half. This, there's different ways. Look down for me, your chin perfect. There's this different ways to do that. But for me personally, I like fading from bottom up a lot. So I start from zero and I start opening my uh, M Pro Clippers here. When you don't have much space to fade, right? It's safer if you open your edger, like your clipper, and fade from top down. Fading from half down to zero. Good thing about this clipper as well is they cut very close as well. But if even if you zero gap them more, like to really maximum, you can still uh, use uh, guards and they don't bite the clippers really. So like in this case, I, I have zero gap this to maximum. So I can remove these lines. Because I, I don't use electric shavers for this. I only use the razor. So I can still use them with the guards and it doesn't bite uh, my uh, guards. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there's some things that do that. That's actually the yeah. problem with new uh, babeless. What is that thing called yeah, over there? Uh, snap effects. Snap. Yeah. Honestly, that's one thing. It's very upsetting. I got those $400. And honestly, it's disappointing. So we look good there. Mm -hmm. And now, once we pay this, If we want here, we can use our razor to kind of lighten that area, like literally, you know, use a, a sculpting technique to kind of, I gotta, come a, I gotta come up with a term for that because I don't know if there is a term for that because that's a, that's a fade and a razor like that wasn't used on the fade before. So. 
How does it look on the video? Because camera doesn't lie. It doesn't look good. Have any questions, Rich? No, I'm trying to answer them as you're talking. So I can read your mind, basically. <laughs> you explain it well. I don't have to ask any questions. And, uh, am I genius or what? Huh? <laughs> and another thing, you like, look, I've been fading. How long is the video now? Uh, 15 minutes. So 15 minutes, okay. I've been using these videos for 15, this. Uh, it was for about 15 minutes and it's still uh, good enough it's not hot How, like how's the battery on there? Like, good, uh, I think it's good for 15 haircuts for sure Oh yeah? If you fully charge it, it's good for 15 haircuts because they say all day, it can last all day well, yeah, yeah, yeah. or it can last two days if you don't cut hair or three Right But the question is, how many haircuts can you do with it? Yeah Well again I can do 15 haircuts. Maybe somebody else cannot. Yeah. Because I, I booked my haircuts 25 minutes. Yeah. And my haircuts uh, paperwork doesn't last. It, this is actually extreme where I spent 15 minutes with the papers. Because, but because I was doing bulk, bulk yeah. removal and stuff like that, which I usually don't. Because you usually use uh, Oster? Uh, usually Austin, I use right? Osters or, you know, yeah, Octane, I think. But, I, I use these today, so it's just, you know, just a different option. I always yeah. do Octane. I want people to see that there is different options. Okay, good. Okay, so now I'm just going to continue uh, with the papers and I'm gonna just soften this line. You see this? I'm just gonna soften it a little bit. This could be, by the way, done with the scissors. But let's stick. Let's stick with the papers for today. Fully close. Oh. I like to do a lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, free handing. I think if you get good with the free handing, the haircuts come out even better because if you can cut something in the first stroke, you get the best cut. You know, if you start chopping things, then they're choppy. I'm not necessarily saying you cannot do it, but I think free handling is also very good. Can you see that? Because of his head, the hair being actually very pokey, in a curly hair or, or, or hair that goes like down, I shouldn't be cutting much above this because it would grow down and would make my head too long. Right. But because his hair is pokey, I can cut higher and you see how it gradually yeah. gets. So this is only possible on this type of hair. Uh, otherwise, if I did it on somebody whose hair grows down or like that, it, it, would, it wouldn't really look good. But here it's possible. All right, so now, what are we gonna, are we gonna do? Before I move on the top, I'm gonna actually use my razor a little bit. Okay. My razor is straight edged, it has no guard. 
and I'm gonna use it I just use it where I feel like the hair is darker. There is like dark spots, you know? Some people use a corner of a, a clippers to do this. Other people use scissors and do point cutting up. Yeah. Uh, I think this is way better method than both of those because this just thins the hair, uh, lightness, instead of cutting up in the hair and creating a holes in the hair. Look down, buddy. So with the razor here, I can remove the weight from the hairline. I, I can uh, just remove the dark spots, lighten them. I can remove the length of the hair if I want to. So razor gives me all these abilities. So for example, now we're gonna connect the top. I can use scissors or I can use a razor if I want to. Well, okay, let's stick for example with the razor. So I'm gonna take a, a section here, right? I'm gonna comb it this way. And now I'm gonna pick this up. Right there. Jamie, mm -hmm. can you do me a favor and turn off that TV? That's her? Can you turn off that TV? Yes. So the reason I'm over directing this way, right? So the hair can actually stay longer as I come see this, this way. Oh, yeah, it's done. I'll take one more section. I'm gonna create a little blending here and then. Good night. Good night, see you tomorrow. And let's comb this way. And take a section this way. See that? Comb it right there. Alright, so now I have my guide right here. Let's take another section. Comb it this way. We should have a guide underneath. We drop our guide. Here we might actually have a, a slight problem. You see how the hair grows? You see? Yeah. It goes this way. It doesn't want to go this way, sir. Yeah. All right, so we might have to do this a little bit with a, a scissors just to okay. kind of the, the edges. Mm -hmm. But the hair wants to grow up. But if he wants, if he pushes it up, it's gonna be fine like that, is that? Right, yeah. 
but we're not gonna count on that, that he's gonna style like that. So we're gonna cut it, so no matter how the hair grows, uh, how the hair falls or, or, or is being styled at the time, that he doesn't have like, uh, you know, anything looking off. Yeah. But this is common when it comes to the crown. The hair doesn't necessarily grow in the direction it should. Uh, you always, you see here, you see how it goes that way? Mm -hmm. Well, this is a common thing. This is not uncommon, so. You can do a little more than an inch. Of course, when it comes to the top, yeah. yeah. So now that we actually did this part, uh, what I'm gonna do, before I move on, let's take care of this part here. I'm gonna just use my scissors a little bit. His hair is too straight. I don't want, I, in, in many cases, I could use a razor, but because his hair is so straight, I don't want to use a, a razor because the hair might be might get too short and stick out. So mm -hmm. let's just do this. And here just a little bit. Same thing on this side. So now if the hair falls this way, right? We don't have an overhang. Perfect. Let's cut the top. I'm looking inch, inch and a half. Now he wants inch, inch and a half. I'm gonna actually start right from the center, right? And we'll determine on the front. Front is what's important because on this hairstyle, he wants to keep his hair, uh, you know, on his forehead. Basically, that's the style today, right? So a lot of people like to keep, just comb it straight forward, kind of let it fall forward, like almost like a crop top, but it's just long. So what I want to do here, I want to pick the right length that he's happy with. But he says one inch off, but this is, I think he got a lot more than one inch. Look how long this is. This is. So we gotta see, cut for me. We gotta, Find out right here, what is the link that we should keep it at? Do you want it to your, maybe right there, eyebrow level, or do you like it to be? Um, like halfway up my nose. Halfway up your nose, okay. Right there. So basically, and the hair is slightly damp, so let's do right here. Okay. That's good? Yep. So we're gonna, this is gonna be our guide though. Right there, right? So this is gonna go up a little bit when it's so now this is this is my guide. Right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this section right here. I already have my guide. My guide is the actually the shortest point right here, okay? From there. I'm gonna start cutting everything at 90 degrees. To get good 90 degrees, I'm gonna only cut between my first and my second knuckle. This was our, our length, so I'm not touching that, right? Mm -hmm. Right, you see I'm straight up at 90 degrees. And right there. Okay. Let's take another section and we're gonna comb this to the side, just like this. We're gonna take our previous section as well though, or most of it, if not all of it. I'm gonna pick them both up right here at 90 degrees and find our guy, you see? Yep, right there. Now 90 degrees is relevant from where the hair grows. I see my guide. I cut, I drop most of it, my guide, I stop, see that? Okay, now I'm gonna split this on half, half is gonna be my guide, right? And we'll take another section. Ninety degrees relevant where the hair grows. 
straight up, look. And I think there is a small piece that's left over, but we're gonna, for now, that would be that. section so I should have my guide here as well I'm come straight up here is my guide cut Let's see, I'm gonna make sure this is straight across. We just cross check our work. Whatever you cut vertically, you cross check horizontally or vice versa, you see? Which I think we did pretty good. Now this is gonna be styled forward like this. Nope. Uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to keep some, we're going to put some deep, uh, lay, I mean, uh, texture. So what I'm going to do is from here, the hair up. Right here. Do this now. Look down for me a little bit. Perfect. It just right there is perfect. Okay, then we'll take another section. Right here. And we'll just take create some more all this does it creates us deep texture in the hair so the hair gets some movement volume 
and it doesn't really collapse under the weight of the hair when you create a style. Okay, so now we're gonna grab another section. Right there. Put, look down a little bit more, perfect. For all of my scissor techniques, which is about 15 of them, you can go to mcbarber.com and go to Academy page. We have a scissor module that includes about 15 different scissor techniques, which is, this one is one of them. And now with the hairstyles coming to be longer and longer with a lot of textures, I think my scissor techniques will come very handy. I break them down in science, how to exactly execute every single scissor technique and then how to apply them. You will see them in my videos, such as this. My friend Rich, any questions? Are you opening just a little bit when you're doing that? If you want to know how this scissor technique is executed, you have to go on my website and buy the module. <laughs> <laughs> the scissor technique can be executed this way, as you can see, right? It can also be done this way. You can lift the hair up and do it this way. I'm gonna do the same thing on the sides here, which is very important. But you see how I cut through the hair? I'm not. Mm -hmm. This scissor technique can be done on long hair and short hair. If it's a long hair, it's done like this. If it's a short hair, you, be, you literally lift the hair up and you cut like this. Right. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. But Richie, you are lucky because you being my student in my academy, all my 15 scissor techniques, the modules on them, the module on scissors is free in the classroom. Nice. So the modules are good too. Huh? So go, so go get it. Go get a scissor module. <laughs> this is the only one that's available right now. Perfect. My friend, what do you think about that length on the top? I like it. It's, good. it's not too long? You like it? Oh, okay. right here being a thing. Okay. So this is the style these days where the hair simply falls forward in over the uh, forehead, right, right there. The only thing I should, I want to consider here, this part, I'm afraid he's gonna have a problem with this part right here, oh, so yeah. but it's gonna keep falling, okay? Okay. okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna thin it a little bit more and then the rest is gonna be, have, is gonna have to be a, product where he uses a product to kind of like push it and style it forward whether it's a hairspray or it's a any other product right okay, just removing the weight out of this section you see that? all i want to you see this i just want to remove the weight i'm going to keep the length but i'm going to remove the weight like this see that? so this doesn't and razor is actually different than a uh, scissor or that scissor technique I just did. Because razor actually kind of skins the hair. See, it makes it lighter. Scissors, they can create texture, but it's a more of a PC texture kind of. See? There you go. Right now we're gonna put some type of product. Let's use some pomade and we're gonna apply it before we blow dry the hair 
And I'm going to use a comb to actually uh, spread the product really good in his hair. simply not use this one, but rather use the one that's meant for it. <laughs> you see we have a lot of texture here. Second, just slightly like that, perfect. for me.
All right, my friend, what do you think? I liked it. Thank you. It looked good. All right, guys, I'm MC. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, take care of yourself. Here's your final look. Thank you, mate. No problem.